Nitin Nandam, this is Maha Jaya here and today I'm going to be talking to you about the law of attraction. A lot of people think that the law of attraction is actually like attracting like and yes it is like attracting like but what they don't know it's not just you know, what you think and what you say and then it'll come true but when you say those things like you know when you say those affirmations it's the space that you carry for them so people can have an affirmation of let's say they want apartment in a specific neighborhood so they'll just say I am living at Tribeca in Manhattan so they'll say I am living in I am living comfortably in an apartment in Tribeca so that's the affirmation and that's what they want to manifest in their lives now actually it's not only what you say to yourself that will attract that manifestation but it's also like the way you feel the space that you hold that affirmation that space of possibility so actually you don't manifest like everything that you're creating right now every situation every people in your life every relationship you are manifesting in your life and it's because of like the space that you hold and also like you know the belief that you carry about yourself and so like the manifestations don't happen because of the things that you desire let's say you desire um, that apartment it's not going to manifest just because you desire it but you have to ask yourself do you really really believe that it can happen for you if you can believe that then actually you can when you believe it then it creates that space for it to happen so how to create this space of possibility when you are doing your affirmations or you know you can also call them declarations first of all is to be integrated you know and not only integrated to what you tell others let's say you tell a friend you know I'll get this done for you at this time make sure that you get the, whatever it is done at that time for that friend or you know if you really can't do that then just tell her before the due date that oh, hey you know I can't get it done right away however just give me a few more hours and I'll have it to you by then so you should always be true to your word and not only to other people the most important person that you should keep your words to is yourself be integrated to the words you say to others but also to the words that you say to yourself that's one way of you know having that uh, space of possibility to yourself because being integrated actually uh, destroys doubt because when you're always doing what you say you're going to be doing that you know little doubt inside of you that you know person that nags all the time like oh you know who do you think you are you can't do this you can't do that it'll disappear and also be integrated to time that's one of the fundamental things that you should be integrated to I'm from New York City and you know in New York it's always like oh you know I'm always fashionably late and everybody is late to everything and it's actually it's destroying that space of possibility within you you don't stay integrated you, you actually don't carry that space of possibility within you because that doubt always comes so to destroy the doubt just be integrated to what you say to others what you say to yourself and not you know what you speak out loud to yourself but what you also like mentally tell yourself and also stay integrated to time so that's one way to create that space of possibility within you and another way to create that space of possibility uh, within you is whenever like you know you're doubting yourself like you know to catch that doubt and be like no I'm just going to drop it I'm going to drop this doubt and I'm trusting the universe I'm trusting God that this will happen you know I'm not making the result happen but the universe and God is making the result happen so just catch that doubt whenever you have it and just drop it drop it whenever you catch it you know because the thing is when you drop that doubt and when you surrender to the universe surrender to God 
to make your manifestation happen, it really happens. And the third way to make that possibility, to create that space of possibility whenever you're saying your affirmations or whenever you're saying your declarations is to have gratitude. Have gratitude for the things in your life. It's not good to complain because then it'll seem you're not grateful for what you have and how can you get things like how can you get more amazing things if you're not grateful for what you have already so to create that space of possibility whenever you're making your affirmations or you're you want to manifest something be grateful for the things that you have sit down for some time and go through your head or list down like the things that you're grateful for all the things that you would otherwise have taken for granted and and also, like I had said before, like, you know, it's not what you desire that manifests, it's what you believe that manifests. And how you can change your belief is through these three things. You can be integrated to yourself, you can also be grateful, and you can drop your doubts within yourself. You can drop the doubts. And so those are three ways that you can create that space of possibility and also one more thing that I want to say that where you can you know have the law of attraction work best for you is when you know when you're having difficulty dropping the doubts when you're having difficulty like being grateful or whatever it is you're going through something and you know you're always in that victim attitude first of all you have to realize that you're having that victim attitude you have to drop that and also ultimate thing is like your will persistence when you can actually make your desire and your belief irrelevant with your will persistence and what that means is that you just declare to the universe this is going to happen I don't care you just make it happen for me and you just declare it and you declare it and you just you literally say I Sadashi Voham this is the declaration that will literally even with your doubts even you know with your misgivings or you know uh, your cynicism it will literally make it happen for you so that and you know your will persistence is literally you declaring to the universe that this is what I want and I'm going to make it happen so when you declare so that and that's actually another way of um, manifesting your reality is declaring insisting upon I am the divine you make this happen for me um, so thank you so much for uh, hearing me out and if you like what I'm saying you'll love what like Swamiji is going to say and actually I'll uh, provide a link to one of his satsangs where it actually talks about making desires and beliefs irrelevant and just using your will persistence to manifest your reality Thank you so much and if you have any questions or if you uh, have any comments, please write them below and um, of course like subscribe. Thank you so much. Nitinandam.